Hello there. Um, I wanted to do a video about the Champion Juicer. Uh, just uh, to show you how to put it together, how to use it and stuff. Um, so this one's kind of an older, older model, but they are exactly the same. If you go and buy one right now, the parts and everything is almost the same. And the way it comes together and takes apart and stuff, and how it works and everything is all the same. So, uh, so this is what it looks like when it's uh, ready to be juice, juicing. Um, the juice comes out from here, and the pulp comes out into this uh, little bucket. And this is where you stick your uh, vegetables and fruits in. So I'm going to take it apart and show you how easy it is to put together. So this is the part that are included in this thing. So you have, this is the actual grinder. It grinds the food. And before you put it on, you have to put a little bit of oil on here. And I use just regular olive oil. Uh, put edible oil on here because you don't want any of uh, like motor oil or anything like that in your, in your juice. So just put it on the shaft here and around on this area because that's where it, this will be sliding on. Uh, there we go. So it, it uh, slides right on this thing so it needs to be oiled. So then all we do is we take the filter, put it on, the cover on here and this part is ready to go. Just slide it over and twist it and it's locked in. Then you put this little deal on here and you're ready to juice. Um, this motor is really nice and powerful. Um, we actually did some, uh, what was it, almond butter yesterday and it ground right through it really nicely. Uh, so there's plenty of power. The, the nice thing about this, the way that it uh, juices is that it grinds it up first and then it squeezes it to, to get the juice out. And the pulp that comes out of here is almost uh, dry. Uh, some things like apples um, and some softer fruit will, or in vegetables, will come out still kind of liquidy. You can see they're still wet. So you can just take it and dump it back in here and juice it a couple of times, run it through it a couple of times, and it'll get all the juice out of it. Uh, we, if you take this one pound case of greens, uh, you will have about probably uh, less than a quarter of a uh, cup of uh, fiber left over after it juices. Uh, a pound of greens like this gives you about 13 ounces of juice and like I said, about a quarter cup of uh, fiber or uh, pulp left over. So it juices really nicely, even the greens. Uh, and not all the juices are able to, to juice green, uh, greens like this one does. Even though uh, Champion does sell an attachment here for just for leafy greens, for grass and stuff like that, uh, I really don't see the point in spending another what, 60 or 70 bucks on that attachment when this one does such a good job. So that's Champion Juicer. Uh, they run about 250, uh, brand new. I think it's like two, 265. Is that the uh, commercial or worth it? No. That's the regular. And how much is the commercial? It's a little bit more. I don't know. I think it's like 20 or 30 bucks more for a commercial version, which I don't. I really have not found the difference in what the, you know in the commercial version and the regular version. So anyway, plan to spend about. 250 to 300 bucks on this thing. Uh, we got this one on Craigslist for $80. Um, so you can find a good deal. It just, you know, just find out what you want to spend and you should be able to find a juicer at that amount of money. So that's it for, for this video. Thank you for watching and make sure to go to my website uh, at geekgrass.com. The G E K G E E K G R A S S dot com or watch my or subscribe to my videos on YouTube at youtube.com slash geekgrass. Um, Alright, I'll see you in my next video.